you have a lot of different things that you have to do. And the way you approach them is going to be different. So I think that, you know, whether it's something that needs to get done quickly, something that needs, you know, you need to slow down and, and take your time and do it with creative intent. Whatever the thing is, if you have a way to make the transition easier, like you said, with less friction, it's just going to, you're going to get more out of your day. Today, once again, I'm with Drew and he's going to share another productivity tip with us. So, Drew, can you remind us uh, who you are a little bit? Yeah, Hugo, I'm just trying to make the world a healthier place, man. I help people that sit often in offices to feel better, alleviate aches and pains, just to be more active, feel healthier. So that's really just the bare bones of what it is that I do. Okay, awesome. So what is the productivity tip you want to share with us today? So this one I, I came up kind of with on my own. I spend all day in my office, which happens to be my bedroom. So I spend a lot of the day in the same room, whether, you know, I get out to train clients, but there's not a whole lot of transition. You know, I don't have a commute for when I'm, you know, working at home and I only train clients in the evening. So I wake up, you know, do my morning routine, eat breakfast, and then I come right back into the exact same room to do my work. And so shifting between states on you know how it is that you know when I'm working when I'm relaxing when I'm working out I have found a really really simple way to shift brain states to shift your environment without actually having to change location is through music so having different genres of music or different playlists for different activities for me if I'm going to work out I listen to metal music always only metal music only when I work out if I'm going to do something fast like I need to um I would say just work through something quickly. Maybe it's respond to LinkedIn comments, right? You know, notifications. I'll turn on some rap music and I'll do that standing up instead of sitting down. So I'm, you know, moving, I'm moving quick. I have a little bit more energy. Then if I'm going to try to be creative and work on something, I might listen to what's called like lo-fi beats. It's kind of like jazz for millennials. It's like kind of techno and it's, it's just, it's, I like it and it works for me. It makes me uh, kind of relax and I can get into a creative brain state really easy when I listen to it. If I want to relax, I'll listen to like classical piano music. And so I have these different playlists for shifting between these different, you know, kind of what the activity is, what I'm trying to get done. And it just helps me to tr make that transition without having to change like physical location. That's awesome. That's, that's a really, really, really good tip. I have, um, I have some music that I always listen to, but it's kind of always the same music. I might try uh, helping me with transition because that helps reducing friction between all these states. So that's awesome. Yeah, what, why, is, why is it useful? Why is it helpful? Why should people listen to that advice? So I just find that there's so many, especially if you're like an entrepreneur, you have your own business, you know, you have a lot of different things that you have to do and the way you approach them is going to be different. So I think that, you know, whether it's something that needs to get done quickly, something that needs, you know, you need to slow down and, and take your time and do it with creative intent, whatever the thing is, if you have a way to make the transition easier, like you said, with less friction, it's just going to, you're going to get more out of your day. You're not going to have to, you know, stop, you know, go, you know, go do something else and then come back to it. Cause that's what I had to do for a long time. I had to stop whatever it was I was doing, you know, go do something else, then come back to kind of have that brain state shift. But now I can just flip the playlist and it's like, okay, now it's time to work on this. Yeah. That's awesome. So we all know that kn knowing things is good, but a lot of times people don't take action and not, not enough, at least most of the time. But what is the recommended action that you recommend right now? So I would say to get started, like with this specifically, you need to have playlists and you need to be open to new music. Like I did not, like I don't listen. The only reason I would listen to classical piano music is to relax. Now I have no other intention of listening to classical piano music, you know, like Bach and things like that. It's, you know, I don't particularly, it's not something that's like I would ever think to listen to. But I, when I kind of, you know, start learning about this tip and learning about your brain states and how they shift and how you use cues to do that, I was like, all right, I'm going to open up to some new things. And so I still don't listen to country music. You know, I'm, no offense to anybody out there. I'm still not, a, I can't, I'm not a country music guy, but I'll listen to pretty much anything else. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you for this great tip. This is definitely something I'm going to use and I'm sure some other people will too. Uh, thank you, Drew. Guys, if you know any LinkedIn creator that want to... Oh, by the way, before closing, do you know something in French? 
I, I don't actually know anything in French. I took French in eighth grade and failed to go. I, I failed out of the class. Um, and so I tried. I tried, but I, it wasn't for me. I did Spanish and I failed that too. I, I just ended up going with the standard diploma. <laughs> Keep reading English. <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Merci. If you enjoyed it, put a thumbs up, like it. It would go a long way. And I hope you enjoy this new video series on bite-sized productivity. Short videos coming your way, no fluff, straight to the point, exactly what you need to reclaim your time back and be more productive. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you know what to do. Au revoir.